of TFNN. The TFNN Bull Bear Trading Hour. Every trading day, live at 10 a.m. Eastern. Call now, toll free at 877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The TFNN Bull Bear Trading Hour. Now, Tom and Tommy O'Brien. Welcome, folks. Appreciate your garage. And I'm prowling with us. We have the Dow Industrials down 27, Nasdaq's off 36, SP's off nine and a half, gold contract down a buck and a half, trading at 13.19 an ounce. You get silver down three cents, $15.63 an ounce, light sweet crude flat. $57.03 a barrel. Notes and bonds, you get the 10-year note down to four ticks, 121.25, 30-year off five, 145.13, king dollar. King dollar trading down uh, 33 ticks, 96. 005 and King Dollar, folks, is down 300 ticks. It does have volume on the way down. You can expect more high volatility in this uh, King Dollar right now. The euro is at 113.83 to one U.S. dollar. The yen is trading at 111.19 and the pound is at 132.97 to one U.S. dollar. Let's get over to our man, Mr. Kevin Hinks at TD Ameritrade Think or Swim. And don't forget, folks, every trading day right here, 11 to 12 Eastern Standard Time, Tom White, Kevin Hinks, great program. You want to understand options, option strategies, futures. Check it out. And if you happen to be driving down the beautiful west coast of our, our country out here, remember, you just go right, right to YouTube, go to TFNN.com. Get to see everything right there. Audio, digital, whole ball of wax. Kevin Hanks, what's going on? Good morning, guys. How we doing? Another, you know, isn't it amazing, Tom, when we get to that time of the, of the earnings season where it's a focus on retail, and there's so much going on in retail right now, it is literally a, a story of hit or misses. Yeah. Right? Some people doing it better, and some people really, uh, this new economy that we're in is taking its toll on a lot of these names. Oh, there's no doubt, man. And just as you said, you know, I think we're past the worst of it. I mean, I think that was like a year and a half ago. Do you know what I mean? Because you can see some come up. But there's going to be another 20% that are going to go down the tubes, man. Sad but true. Do you know what I mean? Absolutely. And I mean, so, you know, at least, at least we have uh, InBev. Even, at least beer is doing better, right? To make us all feel a little bit better. <laughs> that, hey, that's a total, that totally makes sense. Hey, listen, I, right. talk about talk about beer. I want to switch gears on you for a second because I know you love yeah. trading grains, right? And we're getting a lot of yeah, calls on wheat. So talk to yeah. – this is my question is first, Kev, right? That I, I know the cool thing about commodities, folks, is that, you know, commodities only can go so low. They can go into production costs for so long. But then guess what, man? No one's going to grow it. So – this wheat deal, right? We're at 465, right? How how do you look at wheat right now? I mean, I just brought this back 20 years, and I mean, it looks like it's only been 25 cents lower than this in the last 20 years. Well, when you're talking about wheat, now I'm not an expert in wheat. I want to say that to start out. I, oh, I, that's right. I, you do the meal, the soy meal. That's right. I, okay. I was beans. Yeah, but right. that being said, what you're seeing across all the uh, complex here is lower prices, big crops. This time of the year in the U.S., Tom, all the talk is acreage, right? What's, what are they going to plant? And there's a fight going on right now about acreage for beans, corn, wheat, everything like that. So that's – but you've got two heavy years, Tom, of big crops okay. with, with ideal weather and – not only some trade tensions with China, but it's taking its toll on these grain crops in general, speaking from a macro level. Yeah, yeah. So it's gonna, it's, it's intriguing, man. I mean, it's like, you know, we'll see whether this dollar is going to go south. You know, I, for these farmers, I hope it does. Well, for me, too. The higher dollar <laughs> certainly doesn't help. Certainly doesn't help commodities, the higher dollar. But I think something that would really help grains, not to mention, you know, Obviously, sales to China are going to be important yes. and big, but a lower dollar would also help these commodities from a fundamental p p perspective. And then, you know, you hate to say it, but a little weather, a little weather market right. or, so, or, or, or so, something else could get these prices a little higher, you know. Uh, but there's a lot of things that have taken its toll. You know, two years of full, massive crops coming out of the ground with good weather in the Midwest have really taken its toll on some of these prices. Soybean meal, 
the, the what I you know I do have expertise in in beans, boy, you know trading some levels they haven't traded in a long time, Tom. Look at that! Oh, cool! I find I just found that contract. Okay, so the soybean meal. Okay. Yeah, ZM. Now, the, Kevin, this the soybean meal, right? Can you just educate us yeah. on this? Is this what they feed like all the 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 cattle? How do they use this? Here's exactly what it is. When you take a bean and you crush it, right? You use the crushing process. Yeah. What comes out of it is soybean oil, right? That's what the, is the extract from it. What's left over is the soybean meal. Okay. And you're exactly right. That's mainly used for feeder cattle and things like that. That's so cool, isn't it? They use yeah. everything, right? Oh, you got it, right? Yeah, no, and it totally makes yeah. sense, man. It's, it's really cool. Bro. Yeah. Yeah. And sometimes when feeder cattle gets, when corn gets low enough, if corn, if meal gets high and corn gets low, you can substitute sometimes corn to do that. So there is some competition there, but mainly soybean meal is what's left over after the bean is crushed and turns into feeder cattle. Wow. This, you know, it was so cool. I mean, you know, we, we talk equities a lot, and of course, you, you know, we, we, you know, you're talking the, the options a lot, but it, commodities are so intriguing because if you just understand trading, but then you really can get into the macro deal about just what you're talking about. It's like, okay, you, you can swap one for the other, but guess what? For all of us to go forward, we all got to eat, including the animals. Sure, it's, right. It's like, okay, man. Do you know That's what I mean? It's life, totally. Yeah. And, really. you know, I think, I think the China deal, because remember, the one big factor, another factor that's hurting all agriculture products is lower demand from China. Like yes. A weaker Chinese economy. If that economy starts to turn demand and a good trade deal, that that could be a real bullish for, for really all grain. Now, I, I can see that. I mean, you know, just yeah. China and their own economy, folks, it's amazing how they can turn it on and turn it off. It's like, you know, they, 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 they seem like when they turn it off, they only turn it off for like two to three months. And then all of a sudden it's like, yeah. okay, we got to turn the key again. We're going to turn it back and on. We'll, we're going to escalate the whole deal up. And of that's course, exactly what they do, Tom. And they stimulate, they, they, they stimulate their economy like nobody. Right. <laughs> right. And of course, they throw everything at it. And there's the demand variable for not only a lot of U.S. goods, but since we're on grains, for, for grains as well. Crude oil, grains, beans and corn, they are the demand variable in that whole scenario. Yeah, and you can see it, you know, and what's intriguing, it's almost like if I just switch gears to the, you know, the, the pound and the euro, they've been so low. I mean, if the, it looks like there's going to be no hard Brexit. It's like, okay, so the, the a aspect there is that they could go a lot higher, easier than they have been in the past because they're at such low prices. I mean, it's, it's, it's intriguing that you don't need much buy-in in anything once you're at lower levels. Yeah, and that's something that's going to play out, like I said, May is when they, they, they start planting the U.S. crops. So, this will all get dicey. They're fighting over uh, big acres right now, Tom. Yeah. And where, where those acres are going to come from, and that should determine the size of the U.S. crop. I got to love it. That'll do it. Here we go, folks, right here. Every trading day, great education. You want a better one? Another 45 minutes. Uh, Kevin Inks, Tom, Tom White. Kevin, you have a great week, a great day, safe day. Of course, we look forward to the program in 45 minutes. And have a great weekend, man. Appreciate the education. Thanks for having me on, guys. Always great talking to you. Thanks, Thank you. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. We have the Dow Industrials down 17, NASDAQ off 27, S&P's off 7.5. We'll come right back. The Taz Profile Scanner is the most revolutionary piece of trading software that you will ever try. Wouldn't you like to approach the markets with confidence? As you begin your trading day, it's likely that you'll be faced with lots of decisions. In order to make the best decision, the first thing you'll need is a strategy that will help you minimize your risks. Whether we're in a bull or bear market, a good strategy is to have the tools needed to help you scan and analyze the markets before you trade. The Taz Profile Scanner instantly scans and filters over 2,500 global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, president of Taz Market Profile, the Taz Profile Scanner understands that in today's technological world, the use of top flight software applications, automated trading algorithms, and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. Whether you're looking at the trade matrix, the ETF heat grid, 
the market breadth, the landscape charts, or the many other features of the TAS Profile Scanner, this is a piece of software that will revolutionize how you look at the markets and set up your trades. The team at TAS has even put together a 12-part video series to walk you through every aspect of the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find directly on the TAS Order page at TFNN.com. Sign up now for only $97 a month with a risk-free 30-day trial so you have nothing to lose and everything to gain. See for yourself how you can harness the full power of the TAS Profile Scanner by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the TAS Profile Scanner under the Services section. Remember, with a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to lose. Don't let another day pass you by without trying out this amazing piece of software that will revolutionize how you look at the market and how you place trades. Sign up today. Many of our new listeners have heard about the Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive the Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on the Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call, call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, we have the down on 18 Nasdaq off uh, 24 S and P's down six and a half, and uh, we get natural gas today. We get our man uh, Nico Dehan. Nico, folks, has an amazing uh, newsletter, and um, he sure does. We got a special going on. I think this is probably going to run for like another week through the beginning of March. Um, but you can get 25% off Health Signals. So this comes out twice a month on the first t first and on the 15th. So. Uh, today is, right? I'm going to get it. Yeah, today's the last day. Of, all about, folks. Today's the last day of February. Okay. So Nico's got a new issue coming out tomorrow morning, all right? Okay. So you get access to the archives, too. And um, it's not like a trading newsletter, as in the past archives are great information, man. Right. still as valuable as when they first came out. Um, so I encourage people to check it out. And the way you get that action is that you get 25% off. The information's right here. You just have to enter the promo code HEALTH for health signals at checkout, all right? Okay. Now, that's going to apply to whatever subscription length you choose, the key being only the first time, okay? So if you sign up for a month, you're going to get 25% off. You're going to pay $750 for the first month. You can right. cancel any time. You want to sign up for the year, you're going to save 25% off 85 and uh, just that simple. You enter HEALTH at the checkout, right? And boom, $21 off. So you're looking at $63.75 for the whole year. Um, 24 issues of uh, great newsletter. And that still comes with 30-day money-back guarantee, right? That comes with 30-day right. money-back guarantee. You yeah. got it. So, and, um, and if you ever want to so cancel... So do that one, folks. Yeah. The and bottom if line is, if you like it, yeah, you're going to save a lot of money. And listen, there's really no risk when, you know, you sign up at the yearly, you're still allowed to cancel, okay, before the end of the year. Right. You just get it prorated back at the monthly rate, right. which you would have been paying if you signed up for the month anyway. Right. So why not lock right. yourself in? Because right. I imagine you're going to want to continue. It's a great newsletter, man. So check that out. That'll run through... Uh, the beginning of March at some point, and it's pretty crazy, man. I had to check it again. I, I knew it when I started talking about it, but I said, wait, tomorrow is tomorrow March? Tomorrow is March, man. Match, mad, match, mad. It's madness, coming soon. Everything, That's right. Everything's happening. My alma mater, Villanova, they are struggling this year. I think they're oh, going to they? get into the tournament, but they've had some big they losses. They started big, huh? They started okay. They, um, they're they probably going to get into the tournament, I think. I haven't been following this one. They better. Shit. They better. That's right. Uh, okay, natural gas. It's 1020 right now. I'm going to close these out real quick. We'll pull up the natural gas contract. Get in here. We're looking at the April natural gas contract. And we pulled it up yesterday, right? I mean, over the break. Um, quite a move even from yesterday. Yeah. It's only showing today being up like a penny and a half. Um, but that's probably because it closed. Night. Yeah, I mean, since uh, in the last 24 hours since 
early yesterday, 10 pennies from 274 to 284. So jumping around immediately, we jump to, let's jump to the 11 amps first. Uh, so these are 9 to 11, they expire at 11 o'clock. You're going to have, excuse me, a choice of 285 um, that you can gain exposure up and down, but you're more than two pennies away from that level. So right. you're immediately really, you know, this, even the bearish one alone is going to be expensive because you have all the intrinsic value plus a little premium costing you $27, right? right. Now, not a bad trade if you wanted to go um, short. I mean, you're only risking 27. You're able to sell this at 282.4. And the active contract is trading at 282.7. Well, even 282.8, 280. So four to five tenths of a penny right. to lock in the risk reward of risking one to make seven. Right. Um, pretty cool when you look at it like that. But let's just see. And what I already can kind of tell from being used to these, they don't. They usually line up on the fives. Okay, right. so right away, right. we're going to have either options at 280 probably, 285, which doesn't line up with a volatility trade where you just want exposure in each direction. The noons, 285. Um, was, that where the, uh, was that where these were as well? Yeah, so 285 and then the 230s. Okay, and the 230s line up uh, a little bit differently in the 280. And so there's, you know, if you want to go bullish, right. this is a pretty similar situation. Now, this one goes to 230. You're risking... Now, this is pretty interesting, right? It's almost risking one to make 10, but that's because you need 40 cents of movement, okay? Right. That would be amazing. It's probably yeah. unrealistic unless something really drastic happened fundamentally. But you get the news coming of the inventories. But still, you're able to get in at 283.6. We're trading at 282.8, so eight tenths of a penny to lock in, you know, cap your risk to right. the outside of 280, and then you almost have unlimited upside yes. because 40 cents. Pretty right. cool, pretty cool. So we'll see where that uh, trades. Natural gas. 10 pennies yesterday, man. See what happens, right? I mean, that's where you got 10 pennies of movement yesterday, and you're only paying between about half a penny to eight tenths of a penny to lock in risk reward. Right. It's probably just going to be more important that you're directionally right in your trade if you're paying that type of premium. Yes. You know, that's all that, yeah. I mean, oh, this is interesting. So look at on the daily. On the daily basis, it's almost just like it, it tested the highs of Tuesday here. Okay. Let's see. You're going back down to 260. <laughs> uh, yeah, let me see. Let me see. So, well, let's do intraday. Oh, look at that. Where's that spike right there? That's what I want to know. Right there. Did we oh. open this it's morning? It's spike up. 9.30. Oh, yeah. Stock market open. Let me get this thing closer. Interesting, yeah. So, 283. Yeah. It's saying it wants to go back and test that high of today. Interesting, because when you when you look at it on a daily, it's like I'd say that no, you get the test going, and wants to go back down, but intraday that the, the probability is that it's going to go test that high. Hey, the cool thing is we're going to know in um, five minutes. Five minutes, I like that. Ten twenty-five, man, uh, totally. I like that. Yeah. Let's go take a look at some of the. Um, well, actually, let's go look at the gold contract because they they they're jamming this gold contract while well, not jamming it, but oh, they're jamming the, it a little the, bit. The bottom line <laughs> right, is yeah. that. Uh, where are we you sitting know, now? You, 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 the dollar just went from down 330 to up 100. That's it, okay. Okay, so you're down on 167,000 contracts. Yeah. Oh, the good news is, though, I think the, that was the last spike. Okay, this is good. Okay, so let me get this close up. So what you had here on this jam, folks, is that your last volume was at uh, 317.40 and you're 316. Now, this is what I like to see, that you get selling down, you get the big expansion of volume, you get the expansion of price, it gets underneath it and the volume's lighter. Now you need, you need a rejection. Now you gotta get over 317.40 again. Okay. That's how that's 1317 made it. 1317 yeah. right. So if we go over to the dollar now and just take a look at this correlation inside the dollar, the index just got a pop also, DXH. So we went from 95, 175, yeah, look at that. Ooh, look quite at that. a pop. That's quite a pop, too. That's a buyer. And it, I think that came off the, the beginning of that, started on the, um, the GDP number. But yeah, it did. Yeah. It did. Yeah. It's gonna, the, the battle's going to be on out here. Because what, what, you, what we are going to have, now, now watch this. This is where this gets deviant. We're actually going to have a lower low today with volume, no matter where we stand. Because we got to a lower low. We've already done 13,000 contracts. Even when we came down, we only did 19. So today, you're going to get 23, 24,000 contracts. So that's going to be pretty cool in the context of uh, just the trading itself. 
You know, because that's when it gets really deviant, that you get to a lower low, it rejects the price, but you have higher volume at the lower low. So it's like, okay, my take is going to be right back down into those levels. Uh, some of the high volume equities out here today, let's see what we got. Uh, GE's down uh, 32 cents. You got, uh, oh, Celgene. Oh, yeah, the Celgene deal. Uh, the largest, uh, uh, one of the largest uh, owners. Starboard. Saying, yeah, they, I see they, the headline they, on the right They don't want to uh, do the deal with uh, yeah. Bristol Myers. Okay. Uh, here, we'll let's see. Can't be having that. Oh, no. <laughs> Seriously, man, because watch this. You talk about uh, closing, you know, a gap. It's going to be so dangerous. And, you know, I... We, we can look at what the takeout was when I was talking last night that, you know, when you get an expansion like this, if, if the takeout in the stock was like close to it, that's when you want to take it, man. Because guess what? If the deal doesn't go through, this thing's right back down to uh, $67. Sure. You know? Yeah. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I come back. We'll have those natural gas numbers for you. Come right back. Hi, folks. Tom O'Brien here. If you'd like to get my daily newsletter, Market Insights, then now is a great time to sign up for a 30-day free trial. Every morning by 9.30, I send out my morning letter to subscribers with market commentary on a variety of markets, currencies, and commodities to keep investors up to date on the day's trading action. Included in Market Insights are specific buy and sell recommendations for stocks, ETFs, and even options, with stops and price targets included for every trade in my newsletter. If you'd like to try my newsletter risk-free for 30 days, then head over to the front page of TFNN and you'll find Market Insights under Trading Newsletters. I use my years of trading experience to bisect and dissect the market every morning and give my subscribers the most important information they need to know for the day ahead. I even issue afternoon updates for my subscribers whenever warranted with important market action. I'm always scouring the market for the next great trading opportunity. Sign up for your 30-day free trial to my daily newsletter, Market Insights, today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Wow! Go get them, folks! The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting tfnn.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of tfnn.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, okay, natural gas stockpiles fell 166 BCF. That's and right. So it looks like the estimate was 174. So a little bit more natural gas in the market than they would imagine. And we got a little bit of a drop right yeah. down to almost 280, 280.27, popping up a bit from there. Um, we're only about a penny from where we were prior to that news, so we'll see what happens, right? But uh, yeah. 
It would be pretty interesting if we climbed higher after falling short of that yeah. number. Right. But we're right. right back to where we were. We'll see what happens. Yeah. And here, the, uh, was that the one? Uh, yeah. There it is. Polar, yeah, hit that polar yeah, vortex. Right there. Yeah, yeah. Let's see what it says. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. That's it. You've been warned. It's going to test the power grid in the next few weeks, <laughs> according to Perry, whoever that is. Yeah. <laughs> I believe, but you had said you had something I, I about it. I believe in uh, the Midwest, there's, yeah. a, there's another polar vortex coming yeah. down that is going to be pretty intense. That's going to go all the way to Georgia. I, I, I bet that. I, yeah. that's, that's probably what you're looking at, yeah. right? Pretty wild. We'll see what happens. 877-927-6648. Let's go take a look at the... Uh, I do want to go back to those. Yeah. Okay, so let's see. What else we got here? Bank of America's flat. You got uh, Micron down 64 cents. Oh, Box come out with numbers. That's down uh, five dollars. Twenty percent almost. Yeah. yeah. Let's pull that up for a second. Because that's Dropbox. Yeah. Right. That's okay. The, that pe that's piece of software, right? Um, yeah. Share access. Yep, cloud based, basically. Yeah. File Lows sharing. 15. The highs 29. It's quite a haircut. That is. Yeah. It's been quite a roller coaster, though. It has. No. I mean, what, it's still up probably 25% calendar year to date. Yeah. Amazing, but yeah. And let's see what it went public at. So it went public at $14, January 22nd. Of four years ago. Yeah. Yeah. The, um, How about J.C. Penney? Let's take a look at their numbers, because quite yeah. a pop, man. When I was doing the 10 o'clock update, they were up about 22%. Um, Maybe a little bit less at this point. Yeah, I was just going to, I could see it pull back a little. It was up to 159, now trading about 149. Let's see. Uh, yeah, this is an early one. Yeah. There we go, perfect. So, yeah, beat, big beat on earnings per share, 18 cents versus 10. Um, let's see. Yeah, so they, that's good that they turned, they, they got up to break even and then didn't take them much to go over it, which is really pretty cool. Yeah, so comp sales down 4%, Ooh. but they had been expecting bigger decreases. Okay. I saw 4.3, maybe yeah. 4.7. Uh, fourth quarter net sales, they missed, but pretty close and within the range. Uh, let's see. Earnings, um, EBITDA 266, and the range was kind of right in the middle, right? 267.9. And they expect free cash flow in 2019. Okay. That's big, you know? Oh, like for they sure. They can start building it out again. Yes. And I, I think they, I heard you say they were closing 18 stores. Yep, I, think. I saw yeah. that as well somewhere, and I think the market just kind of like that in terms of, uh, I think that's one thing, even if you're going to be one of the winners that survive in retail, right. you've got to be trimming. A, at oh, the same yeah. time, though, because right. it's, uh, you've got to be a buttoned-up operation to compete with the likes of Amazon, Walmart coming into play, oh. Best Buy rocking and rolling. Totally. Yeah. So if we go over to Amazon, not much movement there. No volatility. 1639, yeah. that market cap is pegged. We go to Google. Pretty close same to thing, it, yeah. right? Facebook, Facebook. same setup. Yeah. Netflix, NFL, X. It's interesting we're now so much lower on that Facebook underneath where it had spiked to on that initial earnings number. Oh, I know. Yeah, it's yeah, been it no is. strength after that initial no. pop. Yeah, and the, the, what happens with Facebook, this is the, the big danger here, folks, it's drifted into this gap. When you drift into this gap, these are like magnets, man. Yeah, that's like what I'm saying. The bottom like, of that gap is 145. It's right. like, you know, come yeah. down. You know? Yeah, and the top so, is 165. And yeah. It seems like we've just been inching lower ever since that day. We actually traded up to 171 that day, yeah. 10 bucks off that high. Let's go take a look at the uh, Dow. So the Dow just turned positive. Let's see what's pushing that uh, in a positive sense. Boeing, of course. Boeing will do it. Nice four hundred and thirty-nine dollars uh, stock. Yeah, Boeing's putting twenty-seven positive points. Uh, Johnson Johnson twelve. Merck seven. Merck got killed yesterday though. Uh, Pfizer five. Uh, Visa four. Nothing big. Taken away from it. United Health uh, thirteen. UNH. Let me look at the UNH. Yesterday, these health stocks got smoked yesterday. Yeah, they did. Look at that. So, and I'm not quite sure whether it was there was a uh, there was so much happening yesterday. I, was I think there? I think yeah. there might have been a. Um, uh, hearing to uh, drug pricing. Okay, was that, there? Yeah, something's something that meant because if you look at all these drug stocks, they went down big. I mean, look at this. That went from uh, 261 to 248 yesterday. I know that was going on at least this week. Maybe it, yeah. maybe it was two days ago and it went into the night and stuff got said that had it opened down yesterday or... Uh, yeah. Uh, because well, look, it even opened. Uh, it traded down intraday actually yesterday, the whole... Yeah. yeah well, CVS, that's been going down for a while. Yes. UNHRV. Let me do it this way. So let's see what else is out. Oh, uh, we can pull up Anthem. A-N-T. 
am. Let's see what happened with that one. A M T M. Yeah, that Same one thing. Kind of, yeah. So there's something with you know yeah. that that that. You know, it probably was. Yesterday. I think it's exactly. I mean, I heard sound bits. I'm trying to keep track of what day because it's been such a busy week. But you know, of, um, and I can't recall whether it was House members uh, or senators. Um, but yeah, saying why do Americans pay the same, uh, pay the most for all of these drugs than any other place? Why are we subsidizing the rest of the world? A lot of fair points to be said there yeah. in terms of those medical companies. Blame in the middlemen. Just jacking up. The, the middlemen, no doubt, make a fortune. And the, it's the, it's it's like legal bribery, folks. That's the bottom line. I mean, and why the, do you say middlemen versus the top men, the, the the drug makers themselves as well? Because the it's the distribution. So what they sure. do is that it's it's a kickback. It's a legal kickback situation that seems to get overboard on a continual basis, okay? So legally, you know, here's the drug maker, here's the middleman, here's the doctors, right? What ends up happening is that you're supposed to disclose that, okay, here, drugs are $100, right? That's retail price. The middleman's getting it for $50, right? Pushing it out for $75. But then on top of that, well, since, I mean, I can kick you back $15 per prescription. We just got to do it legally. Okay, so it's there's 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 those plays that are in place in the healthcare system in general that, you know, when they when the people that's why we see when the people get in trouble, they go overboard in the aspect and then the kickbacks of boats and cars and you know sure. the workshops and you know, and it's I've seen it for like 25 years. I mean, it just keeps going. <laughs> it's like, and of course, what ends up happening with the drug companies, the drug companies' argument, folks, is that they need the higher prices to go into research. Yeah. Oh. It's always a wrap. No yeah. doubt about it. 877-927-6648. Let's go take a look at J.P. Morgan inside this uh, financial company. Yeah, it's hanging, t it's hanging tough. They, all these equities are having a tough time for uh, October 10th. That's, that's the benchmark out here. That's the, there's this supply line is pretty incredible i mean you look at not only the sectors you look at the the look, not only the indices the large indices you look at the sectors that's where this market is having a hard time that you know whether there's large funds just laying there saying i'll sell you all you want you know there's not a lot of action because there's not a lot of volume going into it it's, the real key is going to be is there a catalyst to get you over that level and it's going to have to be quite big you know because what we already did we made it through the 11th you know, that, that, well, in this case, that's the 12th. So, oh, the, I see that. So this one, the financials even haven't made it to the 11th, where the indices have. The indices yeah. are going after the 10th. Dow Industrials right now, really flat. S&P's off four. S&P's off six. NASDAQ off 20. Come right back. If you're in the CD market and looking for a secure investment, the Tiger First Mortgage Program may work for you. The security for these first mortgages are building lots in the Tax Opportunity Zone in St. Petersburg, Florida. The Tax Act of 2018 set up tax-free zones across the country where you can build and hold for 10 years and pay no tax on the profits, which makes these lots valuable. The investment is anywhere from $30,000 to $75,000. The interest paid is 7% yearly paid on a monthly basis. According to Bankrate.com, the best rate for a four-year CD in the country as of February 20th is 3.1%. A $50,000 investment at a normal four-year CD rate of 3.1% would give you income of $1,550 per year or $6,200 over the four-year period. That same $50,000 investment in the Tiger First Mortgage Program would give you $3,500 per year or $14,000 over the four years. Which would you prefer, $6,200 or $14,000 of interest on your investment? If you would like more information about the Tiger First Mortgage Program, you can call me at 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. If you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com 
and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. <laughs> Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow's down 15. Nasdaq's off 22. S&P's off six and a half. Tesla. So Tesla yesterday, folks. Uh, Tesla right now is down to 240, trading to 312. Uh, but Musk yesterday, uh, bottom line, come out with a tweet, move the market. Uh, now look at the look what he said in the tweets. I mean, really nothing. Okay. Uh, first tweet was some Tesla news. The second tweet. Thursday, 2 p.m., which today's Thursday, I'll folks. get my popcorn at 2 o'clock, man. Well, I know. And look, if we w watch Go what happened here, yeah. yeah. okay, Whoops. what you're going to see is, <laughs> bottom line is that you know, Tesla opened yesterday at uh, 301.78, closed all the way up at uh, 318, and now we'll see what ends up happening at 2 o'clock. Yeah, I said to you at the break. I mean, I know, the, the, one, point. the one thing about that tweet is that he's almost validating the fact that his Twitter account is a, is an applicable platform for news-related releases right. as the CEO of Tesla. And his only argument for all that erroneous crap that he puts out is like, oh, come on, you know, it's just my Twitter account. I'm trying to do the best I can. But he moved that market yesterday. The and that's very the point. Night, you know, he's going right. to say like, oh, come on, that wasn't news. You know, that wasn't like I shouldn't have had that tweet reviewed. I'm just talking about cars. Like the very next day you put out, I have news for you on that account. Yep. It's, uh, and he moved it. And yeah, what, and they moved the market. And what did, what did it say? It, it, it 5.3%. Yeah, that was the biggest movement in seven weeks Seven weeks, right? Yeah. yeah. So, so it goes down. Uh, yeah. The stock rose as much as 5.3% yesterday, the biggest intraday jump in more than seven weeks, as, of course, they speculated on the news could be. Um, Range from a new vehicle to a demo of the company's self-driving. There's a lot. They got a lot going on. There really could be so many different things that they come out with. Um, and then I said, so what happens if he doesn't come out at two? <laughs> Do I get to sue the company? Because what yeah. if I buy, you know, what if I buy an option that, that expires this Friday? Yeah. And there's no news that comes before that option expires, right? Let's I should have a valid complaint. Let's look at those options right now. So you get... Now, these are going March 15th, okay? Yeah, and I'm just curious. I only want until 2 o'clock. No, sorry. I know. I, I know, know. I'm kidding. I know. I know. So, I'm just curious that at the money right now. 310, okay. Oh, that's, it, it, 13 so, bucks, 1350. Yeah. So, you're, you're still paying some premium. That's a long yeah. time in Tesla's world to have yeah. to have some it, defined risk, uh, to be fair, right? I right. mean, so what are you? You're getting in at 3. 2350 yeah. and you're trading at 31233 and I have upside exposure all the way until uh with some news on at two o'clock sprinkled on top right and, and the spread's not bad in these you know for you know for a 300 dollar stock 40 cents spread's not that bad in the option market I tell you what let me I'm just going to jump over to the TD Ameritrade platform yeah. I want the expected move man yeah right let's right. see what that expected move is going to be because I wonder how that factors in because that's just a shorter time frame right basically same thing of what uh, I think you're going over to the trader in that trade. So seven dollars and seventy-five cents. Okay. Um, that's like two point four, two point five percent. Right. Um, that's some decent action. All the way back down to three oh five or up to about three twenty. The high yesterday was only three eighteen. Um, so that's putting in some volatility. Um, and you can see, so I mean, just to, so that's talking about the expected move, and I think that literally drills it down to the very short-term event that's in the horizon, right? Right. And then you have you want till March first. You're going to be looking at 12 bucks on either side, right? Wow. You want you want 
until March 8th. Yeah. There's, there's Those are the weeklies yeah, next week. And this yeah. is going to be like your implied volatility, $21. Um, and the 15ths were the one you were looking at. Uh, we were looking at, and that's about 29, and that's because you're looking at either 1350, 1450 on each side, right? right? You add them up. Right. There's your. You got to pay for both sides because that's right. the implied. Where it's it's not saying it's going to move that way. It's saying it could, could move either way. Yeah, exactly. Um, yeah. Well, we'll see at two o'clock. Two o'clock, man. We'll see whether we will. I'll, I'll get. And we'll see at 205. The SEC is going to basically <laughs> go after them with another injunction. Yeah. I mean, that's, there's, there's actually nothing wrong with doing what he's done here, as in my, I just said, well, geez, now you're just really getting yourself in trouble, though, because you're validating exactly that you use it as a platform. And, of course, the tweet saying we're going to produce 500,000 cars in 2019, he's like, oh, no, sorry, just, no, I, I was wrong. Well, there's only so many mistakes you can make before you make an agreement that says your tweets are going to be reviewed, and they're not. Yeah, totally. So let's we we'll switch gears for a second. Go over this plat, platinum chart. So platinum finally come off the off its lows. Look, look Boy, at this sure it did. I know. I know. It's pretty amazing. Valentine's so, Day it takes off. Yep. February fourteenth, it was uh, seven eighty. You're a hundred dollars up. That's we haven't had a move like that in a that long time. That is quite a move, man. Yeah. Uh, still tremendously lower than. Let me put this up. Let's see. We'll put the generic one up. Because we, we we're looking at this, folks, is that the ratio between this and the gold contract is, you know, it, it went south about three years ago. And let's see, so if I put the daily, I'll do a daily five sure. years. And then I'm going to compare it and put GC. GC1, right? Yeah. Or, yeah. Uh, not active, generic. Here we there go. we go. And then we'll update that. Yeah, so here's the break. The yeah. break. What is it? Oh my God! Four years ago, April of 2015, the break was. Yeah, it's pretty amazing. And we'll, we'll I was see. just going to point out too. I mean, it, it might have been a quicker break before then because look at how it was even higher. So from this stage, if we took it from like July of 2014, it's really below. You see yeah. what I mean? Because it has right. a huge head start right oh, here. Yeah. Um, because for whatever reason, from you know the beginning of this chart five years ago, it, it traded higher actually for a period of like six months in the beginning of 2014, and then man oh man, from July of 14. You go straight down yep. until January of 16, right. almost two full years, yeah. And it's the first time that it's got any type of, uh, well, not the first time, but this is a, that's a, that's a quick move. There's yeah. no doubt about that. Yeah, I mean, yeah. you can just compare this level to this level, right, right? in terms of uh, right. Right. rocket ship up. We've had a couple pullbacks on the price of gold over that yeah. two and a half weeks. You know, two weeks, gonna, exactly. You know going to be so intriguing here is that the, uh, you know, if this crosses on the other side, if you it know, gets above it. If it gets above it okay. again, they, you know, is it going to get above it because gold's coming down or is it going to get above it that it's so much more powerful and it's going to, you know, overtake it sure. on the upside? Is that, gold going to trade case, positive or is gold going to trade if down? That, right? If that's the case, it's going to be, oh, my God, that's going to be quite a move, man. I mean, it's, you know, in 2014, we were trading at 1,500, and now we're trading at 871 versus right. gold was trading at 1,325. We're trading at 1,316. So it's... It's been all platinum weakness right. so far. Right. Um, it hasn't been gold strength since 2014. No, you know? not at all. Yeah. Not at all. I'm just... <laughs> I'm just no, it's all interesting. I'm, I just, I'm I know. pointing it out because it's like, you better be aware of it. It's like, okay, yes. if this thing's going to go that high, you know, is it, it, is it going to be, be for, for the platinum strength versus yes. the gold weakness? Definitely. You know? Let's check back in on natural, oh, natural gas. gas. How about it? All right. Look so, at that. It shook it off. It sure oh, did. So we're God. basically sitting right where we were before that yep. number. And um, slight miss on the number in terms of only falling 166 versus the estimate about to fall 173. That's pretty bullish. Yeah. yeah. Um, right back. Shakes it off in no time, man. Um, so we'll see where we go. <laughs> That's pretty wild. It man. is. It is. You know, so if you, if, yeah, natural gas, man. Watch out. Oh, my God. Watch out. It's a psycho. There's no doubt about it. Let's go take a look at the uh, NDX 100 uh, inside the NDX. Strength versus the weakness you get. Oh, they come out with numbers. Monster beverage. Man. Okay. Look at that thing. Up 10%, 9.5%. People drinking their monsters, huh? Oh, big time. JD.com's up 4.5. Uh, Crafts up uh, 3.2. Take Two Interactive's up 3. Oh, this got hit. Bookies.com, Priceline. Down 9%. Okay. Celgene off 8. Expedia off two and a half, and Western Digital off two. If we go back to bookings.com. Yeah, I was going to say, we're going to go to break right now. I want to dig into their numbers maybe after this yeah. real quick because just... Uh, it's quite a hit, huh? It is, and that's just an interesting fundamental, like what's yeah. happening in people ordering online, right. price line, why, why right. are they getting hit? They're, right. they're in the forefront of online. Oh. That should always be growing. Totally. Yeah. 
We have the uh, Dow Industrials down 47, Nasdaq off 25, S&P's off 9. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12, six, and three months. Timer Digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well. The fact is, markets can be timed, and I'll teach you the exact set of tools that I use that has transformed me into one of the best at what I do. Sign up for Mastering Probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of TFNN.com and get immediate access to workshops where I take you step by step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. Sign up today. No matter what kind of trader you are, 2018 is a great time to try out a subscription to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report. Whether you just plan on diversifying your portfolio with some exposure to gold and gold mining equities, or you're a gold bull that sees 2018 as the year of commodities, now is a great time to sign up for the Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his Gold Report every Monday morning before the market opens and covers a variety of topics including gold, silver, platinum, copper, the XAU and HUI, the dollar, bonds, South African Rand, as well as more than 20 of the most actively traded mining equities. Start your 2018 off with a bang and sign up for The Gold Report today. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. For all the details and to start your subscription right now, visit the front page of TFNN.com and you'll find The Gold Report under Investment Newsletters. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow's down 45, Nasdaq off 26, S&P's down 8.5. We're looking at uh, bookings.com, the old price line. Yeah. And uh, going forward, it looks like, right? Yeah, quite a number. So in the fourth quarter, they actually beat earnings 22.49 versus 19.39 per share. Earnings, you know, 1.26 billion above the top of the range. But guess what? Fourth, uh, excuse me, first quarter coming at us, they're only going to have adjusted earnings for interest taxed at um, 680 million to 700, and the estimate had been 840. So you're coming at 680 to 700 next quarter of earnings, and they were looking for 840, and that's where, of course, earnings per share, it's gonna miss big time, 1090 to 1120. Estimate had been 1288, with as high as some people coming in at 1419. So that's a $3 miss from the right. top of that range, just for a and, quarter. You know, folks, I mean, the, what has happened here, too, you can see some of these stocks that the, it's the first quarter coming out that they've brought yeah. the prices down pretty dramatically, right. man. Or it'll uh, be something about the um, 2019, the full year the full estimate, year, right, yes. where it stretches yeah. beyond there. Right. I agree. Right. right. 
And you can see uh, it's quite a company, though, too. Yeah, I, I happen to glance, $77 billion market cap. Um, and that's why I was surprised. I said they're right. in a good spot. And we also saw analysts, uh, I think it was like zero, 25 zero buys, sells. 12 neutrals, zero right. sells. Right. Um, and yeah. it's probably because of these numbers here. I mean, yeah. But. 15. Quite a haircut, $180 trading down today. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I that's, mean, that's, that's quite a haircut. That's, that's a number. It sure is. That's a number. And the fear, of course, is what if it's not just the first quarter? What's, what's, what about the second quarter and the third quarter if you're going to miss by that much? Yeah. yeah. There, there's, there's no doubt about that. So if we go just take a look at the uh, E-minis quickly here. So it looks like we've set up a range here, uh, ESH9. Oh, be quick. Come on, let's go. Let's see what we got. Yeah. Yeah, we got a range. Yeah. So the real question is going to be, are you going to break the bottom of that range? Are you going to break the top? Okay. Where are we going? Where are we going? Stay right there, folks. we got uh, Swim Lesson coming up next. And we got Amanda Basler Chapman, Steve Rhodes, Dave White. Be back this afternoon. Thanks, Bill. Thanks, man. Well, go get them, folks. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters.